again, it's not Chris, uh, sorry, not Chris, oh God, it's uh, not um, John, I'm afraid, just yet, it's uh, me, uh, for a very, very special reason. Um, so, it looks like I've come to the end of everything. You can't hear me, so hang on a second. I'll see if I can get that sorted out. Okay, that should be better. Alright, okay, Streamlab says that that's fine. So, it's a, a, hardio, a, a hardware problem that I sometimes have. Um, so, yeah, don't normally do streams on a Thursday, but today is rather special, as I was just saying. Um, come to the end of the blockout. I literally have a few more rooms to go of medical. And then I move back to level 9 to construct Shodan's final chamber area, which is one, which is something I wanted to do last. Um, so, yeah, the final blocks will be pushed in place tonight. Yes, literally. <laughs> so, um, Carly's moderating. She's not in voice. It's just going to be me. I'll try and keep an eye on the chat as much as I can. This also won't be a two hour long stream. This will be maybe an hour and a half, maybe an hour. All depends on how quickly I crack on with things. But um, yeah, this this be the end, folks. Um, after this, I will have blocked out the entirety of Citadel Station by myself, which is um, <laughs> a crazy... A crazy thing when you think about it. Uh, to celebrate, I have a nice cold bottle of Henry Weston's Oak Aged Vintage Cider, which I will only crack open when we're done. So this is kind of incentive for me to get a move on. So, yeah, let's crack on straight with things. So, a few rooms of medical to go, uh, including this one. This is only accessible when the security reaches zero. So, went round, hunted, uh, hunted down all the cameras and got things sorted out. Um, we're not blocking, I'm not blocking out the groves because we're going to be doing something different with those. Um, which will come later. They won't be blocked out in the sense, uh, th they won't be blocked out like this. Um, there's going to be something different for them. Um, what that is, is a surprise for later. Oh, is it 1% and less? I'm sorry, the third player. <laughs> I'm dreadfully sorry. So, uh, thank you for joining me tonight, by the way. Um, don't worry, um, John's stream has not been put off. Um, it's just going to be later. Well, not later. It's, I'm just filling in the gap because there's a gap uh, of time which I can fill in. So, Cupcakes to celebrate with. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. So, yeah. That is a very strange shape. That will most likely be changed, but um, just do it as is for now. Huh, that's weird. So that one block decided to do what I wanted, yet that block did something entirely different. Okay. Um, so, just thinking on... Um, what will what will most likely happen now is uh, on the Monday. Uh, I reckon the um, pick up an item placement will begin for me. Um, I received word from our programmer Matt today that um, all of the pretty much all of the um, the pickups and the interactables are uh, ready to be placed which is very good timing. 
because we all we all work this out like when we'll have stuff done uh, I've actually despite the mammoth task that I had and the fact that I have been involved with the releasing of uh, Forsaken Remastered um, I was very surprised that I was able to keep to my own schedule for this um, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but blocking out a space station isn't easy. A <laughs> uh, lot of time spent looking at grey boxes. Two, four. So, um, I told the guys, I said, I initially um, figured that I'd be done at the end of July. But then things mounted up, and I said, "Okay, the beginning of July. Uh, sorry, the end of July is no longer feasible. Most likely, it would be done mid-August, and that's what we stuck with. That's what's on my um, schedule that we have planned. So, yeah, it's currently yeah the ninth of ninth of August for me. Most likely, it might slip into the tenth. I don't know, but yeah." Um, it's been fun to do this, and I surprised myself by finishing on time. Uh, I will try and keep an eye on chat as much as I can. Um, but uh, focus will mainly be on getting the block out done. Um, so, yeah. What am I creating? Um, okay, I don't... Yeah, you might be uh, new to this. So, I'm working on uh, a game a video game called uh, System Shock. Uh, it's a remake of a classic game from 1994. And um, I, uh, my responsibility is to create the initial, what we call the block out stage, which is get the entirety of the original game into a modern engine properly blocked out for us to um, be able to expand upon. So you can see the game in the kind of almost the, like the top center of the screen. Um, that is what I'm kind of referencing to build th this version. Okay. Right, that is literally um, one of two rooms done for medical, and then we'll be finished. I'll annotate these all later, I'm just more, fo more focusing on the block out stuff for now. Will the game feature shockers such as Tubby Girl or Goat Man? Um, gonna say no. Partly because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> right. Now to move on to the other room. Yep, all this has been. I probably showed you this last time, but all of this has been. Annotated, just going around making sure one final check of everything. Oop. I missed that. Okay. Run, little hacker, run. Uh, 
so that's just oh that's just a kind of a little bit of a slopey ceiling. Okay, I see what they've done. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a shame I'm on my own tonight, but... Uh mm. I'll celebrate by myself. I'll have my own party with blackjack and hookers. Except for I don't have blackjack or hookers. But they're they're in my they're in my mind. If that helps. Hmm. That looks okay. Oh, I, I, I mean, I know you guys. You guys are all cool. Thank you for joining me, by the way. I mean, alone in voice chat that we have. <laughs> hmm. Right. Now, where was that last room? Do, do, do. It was... That's throwing me off. Where was the final room? Oh yeah. It was... This way. Uh, third player, you might be able to correct me on this, but I believe that the security has to be below 75% to access this keypad. Okay, we've got simple 800 by 400 floor. Actually, yeah. Third player, if you don't mind. Um could run a whole load of things by you, if you're up for it, of course, and um, get some concrete answers to some questions I've been just dying to know about. Donuts do sound good. At least someone just followed. Thank you. Ooh, Carly's got some of that homemade cooking. Mm-mm. I think that's, that should be 800. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um. Oh, we have an emote now. Uh, I this has probably been explained already, but we have a we have a puppet emote. So, if you want to share the your bloody puppies, you're more than welcome to.
Ooh, part of that wall. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, 400, 100. This is the final room, by the way. Is that right? Oh, yeah, it is. But, um, I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed watching me do this, and I'm glad that I would, that I had the ability to be able to kind of share this with you. Um, it's been fun doing this. Um, but all good things come to an end. But I won't stop streaming, obviously. Eighty-one percent, really? Does that um? Okay, so does that does that value change depending on difficulty? I probably already know this, but it's escaping me for the moment. <laughs> Could do. Second. Could do. Alright. Change that then. 81. Cool. Um. So. It's the same or no? That's good to know. Right, guys. Well, one door in engineering. Ooh, yeah. Please tell me a bit later on which one that is. So, yeah, with that final piece being put into place, that's about halfway, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About there. Actually, no, that's the same as it was before. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five. That looks about right. Right, guys, well, with that room being built, that is it for medical. Medical is now officially completed. Um, I'll show you this area. Um, this area I finished last night. This was more of a pain than I thought it would be, but... I managed to get it done quite easily. Um, and everything, once again, like I'd managed to do it um, just before. And it, it, just, it just lined up perfectly, um, which I was super thrilled about. Just this awkward kind of staircase. Um, the view into that corridor where you see the patrolling uh, drone. Um, yeah, just lined up perfectly which I was so thrilled about so yeah medical let's get a sky view of this of 
this bad boy. Whew. The Unreal's really struggling. Yeah. That. Let's see if I can get it all in shot. Not quite. That is medical. Um, I believe this calls for some kind of celebration. Okay. Um, but let's not stop there. It's so big. <laughs> it's so big. It's so hard to give you a an accurate kind of feeling image of just everything, but it's so big. Um, and it's all it's all annotated out. I have a few a few small things to do, which I will come back and do off stream. Um, but that's it. So, let's not waste any time. Let's go straight back into level 9. And now System Shop picks the time to freeze. Come on. There we go. Now, so, um, yeah, final area, let's load up the bridge. <laughs> yep, I parked me in the spot where um, I need to knock down that wall, so... Yep, that's bridge. And this is the bridge level that I built, um, I guess maybe about a month ago. Um, so there's that huge donut hole in the middle. We need to build that chamber. This is the final thing. So, <clears throat> yeah. Without messing around, let's get straight on with it. I'm going to alter this slightly. Mr. Square Peg, what did I miss? Um, I just finished the medical level. Um, and now is the final thing. Just let me read a punch up for a sec. I have a Windows notification. I certainly do. <laughs> How are you feeling now that that is out of the way? Um, medical wasn't, um, the huge, um, problematic behemoth, behemoth that I expected it to be. Um, I was expecting to have the same problems as I was having with level 7. That didn't happen. Um, maybe because I got used to doing block out so much by this point, I'm just kind of expected it. But... Yeah, level 1 wasn't nearly as painful as 7 as I thought it would be. Um, are we on track for the September Alpha? Yes, we are. Um, by me finishing the block out today, we'll hit a significant milestone. Um, and you guys, you guys get to see it. Um, which is great. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I'll probably go and modify this area just a little bit later, but for now, let's build this area. So this area is going to be a bit difficult, not because I have things shooting at me, but because this whole area is just um, kind of covered in radiation. So I may end up accidentally dying, and you might get your hearing blasted out because <laughs> this game. Doesn't factor in volume very well. Oh, actually, I know what I could do.
There. Problem solved. Uh, Alright. So, yeah. The final... Final chambers. I have no idea how long this might take me to finish. Uh, hopefully not too long. Because uh, I don't want to cut poor Jonathan off. Um... Hmm. Okay, that works. That goes straight up there. That's only... So, I need to measure the height, so... That looks to be about 200 in height, so... That's fairly easy. Because 200 in height is that. <laughs> Final countdown, yep. Actually, let's do this big pillar in the middle first. That'll give me some... That'll give me a good base to start from. So that is 400 in height, um, 600 in length, and 200 in width. Uh, where am I up to? Okay. this over a bit. Uh, symmetrical? I wouldn't say so. Ooh, blimey, this is a much more complicated area than I thought it would be. Woohoo! Alright, the race is on. It's on. Yep. Good look for little old me. Couldn't get very close with these walls, though. Goodness me. Oopsie daisy. That's not supposed to happen. Luckily, it doesn't look as if I have to build any walls for this section, at least not many, because they already uh they're already comprised of blocks from the exterior, so that will speed up things a lot. Four 
All right, how long is this area? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. But this isn't one whole thing, is it? So, so from here, we need to add 2, 4, 6. Okay. And 200 in height because we have a drop. Um, how do you call this when two quarters of a rectangle are the same? Um... Sorry, not quite sure I understand that question. Uh, oh, uh, to do. Jeez, that's a bit floor area. Um, so, uh, let's measure this piece of floor first. So, 400 by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Actually, I'll make it a thousand because then I can make that centerpiece um, one big block. So that's a thousand. Double. I'll double check that actually. Two, four, two, four, six, eight thousand. Uh, two, four, six, eight a thousand. Yeah. Then we've got this. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 800, 800 by 800. I'll have one from the top and five from anywhere else, please, Carol. Uh, so, just... Unreal, don't do this to me now. Thank you. That's just 200 by 400. <laughs> and then, okay, that, because that fits into that gap perfectly, I know that that's the right size. So, yeah. Let's fit perfectly in there. Yeah, see what my <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought I thought initially that that would have been the doorway, but yeah, I need to fix that when I'm done. So this wall is. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, third play, you're absolutely right. It is symmetrical. Sorry. Wow, I feel like an idiot. Yeah, I apologize. You are correct. They are symmetrical. Um, which makes my life a lot easier because I can just copy and paste these BSP brushes. I don't really, yeah, I don't really investigate this chamber very often because it's both very dangerous and I know where I'm going. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I suppose that's a blessing because I, since I left that doorway uh, open, I can see where I need to judge things. So everything is going to work out because that will go up to that wall. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm actually much more relieved now because this won't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. Um, so, yay for that! Ooh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there there are one or two small differences, but is it is essentially symmetrical? I think. Yeah. I do need to double check everything, of course, just to make sure that everything is accurate. Um, Cause that's what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, we've got 200 there, then that. So from here, it's two, four, Six, eight. And then we have two, four, six, eight. Just straight that way, so. If all goes right, that brush should just copy and fit in here. Which it does. <laughs> right, and that's the same over there, so take this. Thank you, Adrian Setter 94 Thank you. Um, we have covered a lot of ground. It's been... I've said this before. It's been a, it's been a tough road. Um, 
but we're getting there. That's the main thing. That's that's the most important thing. Um. <clears throat> e, thank you, thank you. Uh, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Penguin. Right. Got to make sure that this is right. So, we get to the end of that block. Okay, so that wall needs to... Is there a specific reason why that's there? Did I put that there? Yes, I did put that there. For some reason. Um, why did I make that a triangle piece? Um, I don't know. It doesn't need to be a triangle piece, though. Okay. Uh, okay, take these. And cheat everything. Should go there. Just one block, okay. Um, four hundred. And that sh wall should be two, four, six, eight, and then we get to a doorway. So two, four, six, eight, doorway. Right, so we've done the outer walls of that area, so that's good. Uh, right, let's go back in. So, right, yeah, let's get all these, um, yeah, let's get the floor in first, actually. I could just make one big floor and cheat, but that's probably going to end up not being very helpful overall, so I'll have to do it. Have to do it piece by piece. Um, which is slower, but unfortunately, that's the way we need to do it. Right. 1200 for that piece. Hmm, yeah, I suppose I could cheat it by copy them over here as well. Yeah, I will be zooming around um, a fair bit while doing this. Yep, that fits. Obviously not a thousand on that side. Unless I've not put the pillar in the right place. Yeah, that's right. I didn't put the right. I didn't put the pillar in the right place because I'm an idiot. There we go. And that will be now a thousand. <laughs> I should get a voice log. Yeah. 
That'd be nice. I'm not a professional voice actor, though, so... Uh, eh. We do get to possibly do something a little bit special, though. Which I don't know if I can really talk about, but... Um, Ooh, jeez. Okay. Sorry, I trailed off there. I'm just concentrating, making sure I get this right. goes over here. And is not four, but six. Yeah, okay, because there's a gap there, right. So that's actually 600 units tall because we have a different sized ceiling. Yeah, I could be one of the, yeah. Though wasn't, wasn't, um, I believe according to the law, of uh, System Shock. I believe Citadel Station was built in Japan. Um, at least that's what I've read. Or it had or it had Japanese engineers. Um, no. So um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that's what I've read. Oh, that might be it. That might be what I'm thinking of. Uh, and that is just 300 that way. Yep, that lines up perfectly. All right. So, this room's beginning to take shape a little bit now. Uh, and, yeah, that'll be symmetrical on this side as well, so... That should go there. Oh, sorry, Death Jam. See you later. This will be on YouTube later, so, um, Yeah, um, I, n I know it's a bit of an awkward time to do this stream, but um, I can't really wait until Monday. Um, or f Friday, really. I've got to. Got to crack on. Uh, so we have... 400, but this is a bit of an odd... Is it just 400 in height? It looks to be. Fun little ramp to skateboard up. I wonder if they had any problems with that at uh, Citadel. 
You guys need to stop using the turbo navigation, uh, the turbo motion booster systems up the ramps, guys. You're, you're making dents. Stop it. Quickly check, see if it's the same on the other side, because I've got to out of the way. Yes, it's the same. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think you can literally just come out here, zoom up, and yeah, use the uh, use the neural thingy. Okay, All right, let's get this done. So, four hundred with a. 200 sticky outy bit there. I'll have to go around the other side and see if that is actually 400. Oh no, I won't see it from there, will I? No, okay, because the ceiling will cover that. Uh, so, yeah, it just kind of sticks out there. And that's exactly the same on the other side. I think. Did I already do that? Oops. Oh boy. Hitting delete once or one too many times. Hmm. Must have missed that a little bit there. Oh wow, that's weird. Uh, okay, I don't think I just noticed that. I don't think that's correct. Look at that. Yeah, somebody uh, somebody botched that up, didn't they? Am I about to load? Yes. So yeah, okay, yeah. If you look, <laughs> yeah. If you look at this one, that one's properly uh, graphic um, tiled. <laughs> but on the other side, it's sky. I've never noticed that before. Whoopsie daisy there. That's why I was getting confused. I thought, what is wrong with there? That's why. To remember which side I'm on. Okay, so I should really go around the other side. Do that. So that's 400 there. Then a 400 triangular piece.
Because I don't think that's the same on the other side. Oh yeah, it is the same on either the side, yeah, of course it is. Okay. Okay, now that those are in place, let's get the rest of this floor done. Now from here on, I can kind of cheat this. Because, uh... Floor won't hit anything. So that's 1600. One half of the floor in. I can't be bothered copying and pasting all the blocks over and just build them. means I'll have missed a bit on this side as well. Yeah. It's all coming together, guys. It's all slowly falling into place. I 
think that all that needs to do now, that all that I need to do now is the ceiling. And to be honest, it doesn't look that complicated. But we won't rush things. <laughs> Kali will be playing a live action version of Don't Starve. This is all flat up to a certain point, so need to be careful. Um, yeah, okay, so. I nearly clicked the end stream button on that. System Shock, the Enhanced Edition, the current version, is a little bit temperamental when it comes to mouse. It doesn't sometimes like to lock onto the mouse properly. Um, and I nearly end up ending streams and making people sad, but it hasn't happened yet. Alright, so... That's all flat, so we've got... From that block... Two, four, six. So, okay, that's a 600 by 600 piece. That should. Okay. Yeah, that, fit ni that fits nicely there. Make that 200, because we need to have some yeah we've got a slanty bit right here uh, I'm gonna cheat this and take you How long are you though? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, eight hundred. Okay, so that piece fits in that gap nicely. Um, I should make a note to copy this for over there though first. And because it's all symmetrical, I don't have to worry about much. Because that should just copy over here and I shouldn't have to move it anymore. Yep, pretty much. Though I am getting a bit lost because of all the grey. Because if you guys think viewing this is difficult, building it's a whole other thing. Uh, that's right, okay. Uh, 
Okay, looking good so far. <laughs> Pick up a, yeah. Good old uh, shockhead. What was that default texture called? I think it was called George, wasn't it? J O R G E. Might be remembering wrong, but that's what I thought it was called. I did try and use the Dark Engine to build my own campaign at one point, but. You have to sacrifice a small child to, to get Dromed slash Shockhead to be behave for a day, so I kind of gave up. But, um, yeah, people make stuff with it, so. just occurred to me that I'm slowly dying. Well, we all are, but in the game, I mean. Yeah, this is all flat around here, so... Just that... middle section. Remember to save, yes. The nice thing about Unreal, it does auto saves, um, but I don't trust it, because um, that can be temp temperamental. Uh, four hundred? No, two hundred by. Yeah, I'm starting to get... Oh, v visually, it just hurts your eyes. It's like one of those pictures you see on the internet of, like, optical illusions, but this is actually something you have to build. So I might, I might just have to abandon the whole, um, copying pieces over and just build them normally. Because I won't lie, my eyes are hurting. part of the ceiling done. And now it's time for the final part, I think. Almost. Actually, it's the almost. I forgot to build this thing here. This evil eye computer. Which is just 400 by 400 by 400. So many beefy muscle men, though. You can tell Shodan likes her uh, muscly guys. And I can destroy them with tranquilizer darts. Right. So, this is it. The final piece that needs putting into place. The ceiling. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Would be. Actually, no, that'd be 800. 800, 600. Actually, I know what I can do to help, because this... Yeah, so, content... Uh, where am I? Maps, BSP, materials... I can make this glass. Uh, that's not the shape I wanted. Um. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Final two pieces are going into place. I'm not kidding. This is it. This is the end. Yeah. This is it. The actual final piece of block out. Ah. <sighs> I'm just going to take my time with this. Just kind of enjoy the moment. Because uh, it's been a long few months, but it's been a lot of fun doing this. Um, uh, I don't know how many people can kind of uh, say that they've modeled, uh, kind of blocked out an entire space station like this, but I think I might be one of the first. Yep, savor it. Okay. <clears throat> and with one press of Alt, with one click of the mouse, and with one drag, I let go. And that is it. Done. System Shock 1 has been entirely blocked out from level 1 to level 9, minus the groves, by me. Um, and it's just now kind of sinking in because that was a lot. That was a lot of work. Ooh. It's finished. And now I get to crack open my cold one. <sighs> I've earned this. I have earned this. It tastes sweet. 
I like a job well done. So, what happens now, you may be wondering. Um, I will go back and tidy up a few things. Um, make sure that there are no remaining holes anywhere. There shouldn't be. Uh, I've checked these levels so many times, there shouldn't be any holes anywhere. Um, but it doesn't hurt. Um, quick reload of that. Yeah, I suppose I should uh, patch that hole because that's not actually a. It's not actually a thing, is it? I thought that. I honestly thought that might have been a doorway, but it wasn't. So we can just patch that over now. No big deal. Just to rotate, and that's done. Um. Yeah, then I will annotate the rest of this. I'll light it, obviously. And um, then it will be the next speech. Um, I'd like to thank my mum. I'd like to thank my dad. I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank the Academy for getting me here. My personal trainer. Um... God, I guess, if you believe in that sort of stuff. Um, eh. So yeah, uh, sorry, as I was saying. So I'll go through, I'll be annotating the rest of the stuff that I've just done, uh, which will probably take me the rest of the night, but I won't stream that. Um, annotate all this. And I guess on <clears throat> on Monday we'll start with the um, interactable placement. Um, yes, I mean Shodan. Instead of God, I mean Shodan. Yes. Um, uh, Lord and Savior. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much else to, uh, to show you guys. I mean... That's it. Finished. Um, I'll let the guys know. And, uh... Hmm. I guess, um... If you guys have any final questions... I, I might hang around for the next eight minutes or so. Um... Just kind of answer questions, I guess. If you guys had any questions about the, the process of all this. Or, um... Anything else, just uh, feel free. I'll be hanging around for, well, maybe, maybe not eight minutes, but depends. Well, I guess it depends on how many questions you throw at me. So, uh, yeah. Let, him, let me have them, guys, while I uh, enjoy my victory cider. How playtesting work? Um, playtesting will involve um, we'll we'll end up playing through all the levels that we have blocked out, um, and we will just um, assess. Um, we might make some changes to ammo supply and stuff like that. Maybe I'm not sure, but it <coughs> excuse me. It'll be a long process that we might uh, broadcast. Um, so you'll you'll see you'll you'll most likely see the whole thing, or you'll be given a description of what we do um, for the um, over the 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 Kickstarter uh, updates. So sorry, I got distracted by a question. Um, drinking on the job, yeah, I know, but my boss is on holiday, so I don't really care. <laughs> Plus, do you know, to be honest, I think he'd just be like, you know what, Dan, you just get the job done anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter, as long as, long as you do it, I don't care, so, uh. 
Yeah, technically, yeah. Given that you've now blocked out the whole of the station, and given that you're now intimately familiar with the level layout and implicit design, do you like toast? <laughs> 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 given that God is infinite, and that the universe is also infinite, would you like a toasted tea cake? <laughs> I'm familiar with that sitcom, don't worry. Yeah, I, I, it's now setting in. I can't believe I've just blocked out the whole of, like, the entirety of Citadel Station. It's, it's a huge game, and it's all been blocked out by little old me. And I never thought I'd get the chance to do this. It's like, if you maybe said to me in five years you'll be working on the System Shock remake, and you'll be blocking out levels for the remake, I'd be like, I'd be like, get out of here, you're crazy. But, uh, yeah, life's funny like that. Is there any room or area in the level design of the original that stuck out most to you? Like, whoa, what a great architecture they did. Hmm. Thinking about that. I guess um, for mu for how much of a pain it was, I'd say um, level seven. Level seven managed to cram so much into so little space. Like the level itself is big, but the fact that they were just able to squash what they were able to squash into that level. It kind of floored me um, a little bit, um, especially the uh, the maze. The, I call it a maze. It's uh, there's a maze in the level um, where you head up to one of the antennas that just kind of it overlaps on itself. It goes round and up and down and across, and I was like, "Jeez." Somebody really put a lot of time into that. So I'd, I'd say that was the thing that most impressed me about the original. Uh, that, that, that was a piece that definitely was like, wow. Somebody took a lot of time to build that. How many times have you played the original game? Ooh. I can't honestly remember. It's mm, more times than I've got fingers and toes, I think. Um... Can't imagine to the relief you're feeling. Yeah, the main thing was getting it done to schedule, and the schedule has been met. Um, possibly by a few days. I'm a little bit earlier than I thought I was going to be. So, yeah, um, I don't know how I predicted that I would. It would probably probably take me till about maybe mid-August. But there you go. Um, but I am relieved to get it done. Do you find yourself looking at architecture in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Thinking that wall's a bit thin. <laughs> um, yes, I do a little bit. I, I do look around and think, yeah, there aren't enough 45 degree angled ceilings. <laughs> In this in this building, um, there's a definite design flaw. More 45 degree angle walls and ceilings for everything. Um. It oh Zork, I don't know if I call it a skill. It was it was honestly. Well, maybe, I guess. I just kind of looked at all the work now, but I was just like, yeah, this will take me to July. And then, obviously, I had to help with Forsaken. There was a lot of stuff for Forsaken, actually. I had to help with the Xbox stuff, submitting that to Microsoft, going through the certification process, um, getting all the... I don't think I can go too much into it without possibly breaking contracts with Microsoft, but... Um, 
yeah, to say that I had to do all that and I was able to get the System Shock stuff done relatively on time. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's uh, a blind lucky guess. Um. <laughs> Eyeballing. Yeah, um, so, yeah, I I have mentioned this before. Um, I didn't want to import anything from any fan-made projects. Because, to me, that felt like cheating. But also, um, if there was any problems whatsoever with that block out, we'd have to go in and change it anyway. And it would be such a micro, um, it'd be such a micromanagement level task. It would be like, well, with all the jiggery pokery you've just done, you could have built it fresh anyway. So, um, I that's how I set out to do it. Um, so, yeah, pen and paper. <laughs> Will the new assets for the remake be available for people to use them to make their own levels? Um, excuse me. Um, I believe Steve has mentioned that mod support was a Kickstarter goal, but I can't. I can't honestly remember if it's confirmed or not. Um, you've you've called me out on that one. I'm not sure. Um, it might be. Uh, I'm sure if you ask that question in this in the Discord chat around the time Steve gets back, which he will he will get back um, Friday to, uh, today technically for me, um, but I'd save it till Monday. Maybe ask that question then, um, and you'll probably get a response. So um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, if there are no more questions, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, slowly wrap up here. Um, it's been, it's been great to do this for you guys. It's been nice to show you the process of, yeah, it's, ever since the hiatus, it's been just nice to show you stuff. Um, we couldn't before for complicated reasons that I can't go into but it's just nice to be more open about this stuff and just to share it with you so and thank you thank you for watching as well thanks for you know thanks for being good company and you know hanging out and having a laugh and yeah just be kind of someone to talk to people to talk to while um while I go through this so yeah <laughs> so yeah, I guess with that, um, I'll probably take some pictures of all the stuff that I've just done <coughs> and uh, share it in the Discord as well as um, Twitter as well. I'm uh, Daniel Gration on Twitter, uh, G-R-A-Y-S-H-O-N. Um, so, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I guess, give me a follow if you want. You don't have to, but um, always nice to chat to people. And, yeah, I'm going to call it there. So, thanks very much, guys. I will be back on Monday, um, most likely doing item placement. I don't know how... <coughs> Don't know how exciting that will be. Then it might. It <laughs> it's a bit of an awkward timing. Me finishing this on a Thursday. Um, we'll we'll work out what I'm going to do next, and it will be it it'll be streamed for you guys, so there won't be a problem. But um, yeah, so until Monday, I guess. Um, John uh, John Jonathan will be up next uh, doing his stream. Um, so I won't keep chatting because I'm not sure when he's supposed to start, but anyway, uh, it's been fun guys. Uh, so 
Until Monday, take care, look after yourselves, and I will chat to you all later. So, peace out. Bye.